The block in this problem has a mass m of 10 kilograms and is pushed up a ramp by a force f opposed by kinetic friction, moving a distance d of 6 meters along the ramp. And this angle is 36.9 degrees. Part A asks us for the work done by the pushing force as the block moves along the ramp. The pushing force is constant, so the work is the magnitude of the force times the displacement times cosine of the angle between those two vectors. The force and the displacement are both up the ramp, so the angle is 0, cosine of 0 is 1. Substitute numbers to find that the work done by the pushing force is 660 joules. Part B asks for the work done by the friction force. The friction force is constant as the block moves up the ramp, so that work is the force times the distance times cosine of the angle between those two vectors. In this case, the displacement is up the ramp while the friction force is down the ramp. The angle theta f between them is 180 degrees, and cosine of that is negative 1. So we can substitute the result friction force equals mu sub k times n to get this expression. Now we need to find the normal force acting on the box. We'll find that from the free body diagram. There are four forces acting on the block. Weight is straight down. The pushing force is up the ramp. Friction is down the ramp. And the normal force is perpendicular to it. With a rotated coordinate system, x up the ramp and y perpendicular to it, we can draw the y and x components of the weight. This is the y component, so that when we sum forces in the y direction, realizing there's no acceleration in that direction, we find that the normal force equals mg cosine of theta. Substitute that expression into the one above, along with all of the known numbers, and calculate to find that friction does negative 118 joules of work. I'll move the expression for normal force up here to save it, and erase some of this to get some room to solve part C, which asks us for the change in the box's potential energy. Delta U equals mg times delta y, the change in the height, and that is d sine of theta. Substituting the numbers gives us a change in potential energy. of 353 joules. I'll move the results so far up here so we can erase all of this and have room to solve the rest of the problem. Part D asks us for the change in the box's kinetic energy using the work energy equation. If we solve this equation for the change in kinetic energy, Kf minus Ki, we find that it equals the work done by other forces plus the initial gravitational potential minus the final. Work done by other forces is the work done by the pushing force F plus the work done by friction, and Ui minus Uf is minus delta U. We can substitute numbers now. Calculating to find delta K, is 189 joules, the change in the box's kinetic energy as it moves up the ramp. The last part, part E, asks us to calculate the same quantity, this time using Newton's second law, the sum of the forces equals ma. And we'll take this in the x direction, up the ramp, adding forces from the free body diagram to get the pushing force minus the friction force minus this component of the weight, that's mg sine theta, those equal mass times acceleration up the ramp. Solve this for the acceleration. And rearrange, substituting our expression for the normal force. And then calculating with all the known values. To find that the box's acceleration as it moves up the ramp 
is 3.16 meters per second squared. I'll draw that over here and again erase to get some room to finish solving the problem. The acceleration is constant, so we can use the time independent kinematic equation v final squared equals v initial squared plus twice the acceleration times the displacement delta x and solve for vf squared minus vi squared. Multiplying this whole equation by one half m gives us on the left the change in kinetic energy, one half mv final squared minus one half mv initial squared, and that equals max times delta x. Substituting the known values gives us a change in kinetic energy of 190 joules, the same answer we got in part d to within round-off error.